You've likely heard about the madness going on in our North Texas real estate market. Not enough homes, way too much demand, and now some say that what is going on is simply unhealthy. Our Ken Molestina explains exactly what that means. In order to understand why the DFW housing market is being called unhealthy, we should explain. A healthy market usually has about six months worth of inventory. As of the most recent check, DFW real estate experts say we're down to less than a month. In fact, it's 0 0.7. If we stop listing new houses, if people don't put their home on the market for sale, in two weeks, we'll be out of houses for sale. Michael Coburn is the owner and broker of Remax Town & Country. He says by far, Collin County is the worse off with houses there selling in about five days and not much of any new ones coming on the market. We're in unchartered territory. Coburn says a mixture of unprecedented demand from out-of-town home buyers, a slowdown in construction, and historically low interest rates have created the squeeze. While a seller stands to make a quick and a bountiful sale, buyers are running out of options, especially affordable ones. Now you have to look at the buyer and say, do you guys have $50,000 to pay over an appraised value? And they go, what do you mean pay $50,000 over appraised value? Why would I do that? Because in this market, you have to. Coburn says unless new construction speeds up, the problem will get worse. There's less homes for sale than there are real estate agents in this market. He advises buyers to think about creative programs like swap loans that allow you to buy a home before having to sell your own, because chances are you'll sell quicker than you can find somewhere to land. DFW is a great place to live, but now the prices are just getting dri driven out of, out of control. So think about that if you're considering selling or buying. I'm Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. It is crazy, and because the real estate market has never really been in this position, most experts are saying it's pretty hard to predict how long this imbalance is going to be lasting. The best guess right now, another year, maybe even longer.